Hi, it's Miss Kate. Today, we're going to go over the Sumner Acceptable Use Policy for Technology. I have retitled it, I am responsible, because these are your responsibilities to use technology in our school. The first point is, I am responsible for protecting school property. Computers, iPads, Chromebooks, MacBooks, all property. I am responsible for my conduct online. We need to keep in mind the school pledge. I will be kind, respectful, and the best that I can be. I am responsible for my language. I am responsible for how I treat people. I am responsible to be honest while online. And finally, I am responsible for respecting other people's property online. We will be going over each one of these in class to make sure you understand them fully. But now, we're going to do something a little more fun. We are going to make a word cloud, and that will be our physical agreement, saying we understand these points and we agree to do them. So first, let's go to abcyeah.com. Here you can choose a grade and then you're gonna scroll down. Here are word clouds for kids. This is the um, thing that we will want to be making so that's what we're clicking on. And teeny tiny letters right here it says click to start. I'm clicking to start. Here is where we are going to type our words. Now I clicked and I got my cursor there and I've already typed them. We're going to do something a little bit different because you are now owning this policy. This is not this is an agreement that you're making and that you understand. So you're not just going to say I am responsible. You're going to say I comma my name is Miss Kate, so I will write in Miss Kate comma am responsible for protecting school property. I comma, you'll put in your name. My name is Miss Kate. I'm responsible for my conduct online. So I'm getting a little tired of writing the same thing over and over again. So I'm going to highlight my name. I'm going to press Command C for copy. I'm going to put my cursor where I want my name and I'm going to press Command V. I forgot a comma in there. So we'll do it again. I'm highlighting what I want to copy so I don't have to keep writing it over and over again. Command C. Put my cursor where I want my writing to be. Command V. Pretty good. Now I just have to delete that little space. Command V, again, Command V. Now, you know how to, when you want to repeat something, you know how to copy and paste it. Uh, so that's another little extra you get to do today. Um, so you can do things like type in at first, I, your name, comma, am responsible for, and then copy and paste that uh, five times and then just write in the rest of your sentence. And again, uh, or you do not have to use caps locks. I had just used it before and that's why we're doing that there. Now I'm hitting the next button and voila, a word cloud. I'm not really feeling this word cloud. Uh, it looks a little weird to me, it's, I don't like it. So what don't I like about it? I don't really like that it's going up and down. I want it to go sideways. It's easier for me to read. Hmm, not bad. I can do this. That might be your preference. This is kind of good. Do you notice some words are bigger than other words? Let's talk about why you think that is. Colors. I can change my theme. And I can get these fun colors. Now, I like these colors. I like yellow and pink and orange. But I'm not really crazy about the font. I'm going to pick Impact. I like impact. 
It's, it's bold. It looks good. And right, if I don't like that, I can click on randomize. Randomize, the um, website will choose different word art and the colors and the layouts and the fonts for you. So while this is a lesson on how to make word clouds, I want to just remind you, this is our toolbar. If you don't know what to do, look up here. Things start happening and you'll get a better idea of, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Change the font, change the layout, change the color. It's the same thing as our menu bar up here. When we need help and we want to do something, these are the places that we go. So now you have found, no, I'm not feeling it. Oh, I'm kind of feeling this one. Uh, you have found the word cloud that you like. You're going to come over to the um, home section of this site, and I want to print it. So I'm going to click on print. You want to make sure that it says Xerox Phaser 6280, and this is only for Sumner students because, um, dear world, I would love to print for you, but I am limited on ink and paper. So, Sumner students, you have the privilege of printing something in color. And yes, this is in black and white, but it will print out in color. So it says Xerox. If it doesn't, you just go to change and you look for it, click on it, and now there it is. And then you'll print your agreement. Now, once it's been printed out, see all this nice little blank space at the bottom? In your personal handwriting, you will write I am responsible for following our acceptable use policy, and you're going to sign your name. And that way, we will get on to an awesome start for our year, taking care of our computers, taking care of ourselves, and taking care of our communities. Okay, can't wait to see what you make.